Bill here from Beaver Valley Woodworking, and I know what you guys are thinking. What the hell am I doing cooking in the woodworking shop? Well, that's a pretty simple answer. It's because I built this spatula. Oh, made out of some chadula and purple heart. And this project is the very first project I ever did any bent lamination, so that's how I was able to get the curves. Well, enough of the talk. On with the build. From resize both purple heart and the Shadula board down to one eighth inch strip. Using thin curved blades, this way I can cut down on the amount of weight. I'm planning the boards down to one sixteenth inch strips, taking a 30 second of an inch off at each time. I'm using Malamine board on the bottom because one eighth of an inch is the lowest setting for this machine. While building the bending press is a very simple build. Center part here is made out of a 2x12, two of them. They were glued and screwed together. I cut out my profile for the spatula. The notches here and down there is so I can get my 8 inch C clamp in there to provide the clamping pressure. 2x4s on the side that are leg screwed. Reason for that is when it comes time to the clamping you don't want this part to slide away. And I put packaging tape on the inside of the press so this way you don't want the wood from the spatula to get stuck on the wood of the press. Pretty simple, huh? I'm using Type Bond 3 for the glue up because it's a food safe uh, glue. This is the most difficult part of the project. It takes a lot of muscle and I even cheated by using the pipe to give me more leverage on tightening up the clamps. Well here it is. This is what it looks like coming out of the press. There is a little bit of wood tear on the back. And a lot of glue that's going to be cleaned up. But it's kept its shape. Taking one side of the spatula flush. I'm cutting the spatula down to its final width. Well, the bottom of our spatula is a little too thick, so I'm going to cut the bottom three plies off the bottom. And I also got the design for the handle already traced out. Oops, I forgot to record this part, but this is my reenactment of how it all went down. Could be working on putting that blade on. Got the blade. For the finish of our spatula, I'm going to go with some cutting board oil. So. Keep it food safe. Well, here you are, folks. Final project the wooden spatula. Now it's time to put this to the test. Hell yeah, I can flip pancakes. Let's see if we can do it over easy on the egg. 
Oh yeah, we did it. And it works. So, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Feel free to share it. And don't forget to follow me on all the social media. Facebook, Twitter, God knows what else. And don't forget to check out the other woodworkers who are doing their kitchen utensil build projects. I'll put a link of all the other woodworkers and their YouTube channels in the description below. Till next time, take care and be creative. You can follow Beaver Valley Woodworking on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, Keek, and beavervalleywoodworking.com. Thanks for watching.